Alright, it's Henry again, and this is my first work in progress video for the Master Grade Wing Gundam Proto Zero. And for this kit, I'm not going to be merely painting it. I'm actually going to be doing some modifications for this kit. Uh, basically, uh, Gundam Wing fans have been wanting a Master Grade Wing Zero TV version for years and years. And when Bandai finally gave us one, they gave us about 70% of a Master Grade uh, Wing Zero TV version because they let Katoki go in and, and redesign it for the Glory of the Losers manga. So, while it's got the same general look, it's not exactly the same. So, my project will be to modify the necessary parts to make it a proper TV version of Wing Zero. And, uh, I honestly don't think it's going to be quite as hard as that sounds, because a lot of the parts on this kit I'm not even going to have to mess with at all. Uh, for example, the head. I won't have to mess with the head at all. It's fine just the way it is. Uh, the back skirt. Won't have to mess with that at all. The backpack. Perfectly fine. The red lower torso. Perfectly fine. Thighs. Perfectly fine. Uh, the ankle armor. I'm not... Well, I, I might round that off a little bit, but... Uh, not much. The arms. The shoulder armor is going to need some work, but the arms themselves, nothing to do there. The feet, not much work at all needs to be done. Uh, let's see, the shoulder armor, I'll have to remove these little white details and fix a couple of these little angles, but not much work needs to be done on the shoulders. The torso, I'll basically just, uh, how they've got the cockpit hatch uh, kind of angular, like on Wing Gundam Burkha and Wing Zero Custom, I'll have to add some putty and round that off, make it more rounded like the TV version. And there's a few extra details down here that I'll have to remove. Uh, the skirt armor, not too difficult, just removing some of these extra details. Same thing with the side skirts. The knee armor, the rest of the uh, lower leg is fine, but the knee armor I'll have to go and uh, simplify that a bit. Add a little white piece up here on this knee vent. Uh, I think I'm just going to round off the ankle armor a little bit. I think that's all I'll have to do there. Uh, this little detail on the side of the foot here, I'll sand that down. The Buster Rifle will need a little bit of work, not much. Uh, I'll basically, these little yellow bars on the top, I'll have to thicken those up and just make them wider. These little vents on the side right here, I'll fill those in with putty and remove them. Uh, other than that, that's all i got to do to the Buster Rifle. The majority of the work for this project is going to be the wings and the shield. Because that's where the most dramatic changes are. The shield uh, is going to be really tough. Um, what I'm hoping to do is to leave the entire underside of the shield unchanged. And just, I'm pretty much going to have to completely reshape the outer, uh, outside surface of the shield. And, um... Uh, so yeah, like I said, that's all going to have to be redone, and a lot of plot plate, and a lot of putty, and a lot of elbow grease. The wings, as well, are pretty dramatic in their changes. Uh, again, I'm hoping to leave the underside relatively unchanged. I am going to have to do some changes down here, because uh, the original TV wings are, had a little rectangular shaped vent that was on this part and went through the wings whoops just knocked them over and I'm gonna have to scratch build that and add that in there and uh, this little thruster right here I'm about to knock them over again anyway this little thruster right here if I can focus in on it thank you camera is awfully weird looking don't you think so I bought some uh, little metal thrusters Again, if my camera will focus on them. Uh, anyway, these are just regular old bell thrusters. And focus, there we go. And I'm going to be replacing uh, these with those. And then the entire outside surface of the wing is pretty much going to have to be completely redone. Again, a lot of uh, epoxy putty and a lot of sanding and a lot of elbow grease. So, those are my plans for this kit, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so after about a week of work, here I am on Wing Zero. Unfortunately, I didn't get as much done this week as I would have liked, uh, simply because of the holiday. 
Uh, I pretty much didn't get to do anything uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday simply because of Thanksgiving. But uh, I did get some work done. I guess we'll start at the feet and work our way up. The foot is now fully modified. Uh, there used to be a raised area here. I sanded that down. There was a little indention here on the white part. I added some plow plate and just uh, made that flush against the red part. So now the foot is nice and anime accurate. Uh, moving on to the leg. Let's see, I'll use this leg. Ankle armor, I haven't done anything to. Uh, this lower leg part right here, I just... This was a nice, sharp, uh, beveled edge. I just went in with some sandpaper and rounded that off. Uh, just make it curved instead of uh, sharp. Uh, same thing on this ankle armor here that goes around. And then, really most of the work has been reshaping this knee armor. Uh, there were some kind of fancy details around in this area. And I've just been slowly... Uh, sanding things down and adding plot plate onto these parts and just making it look more uh, streamlined and uh, just kind of smooth and uniform rather than having so much detail on it. As you can see I've got a big gap here. I'll have to use some plot plate to fill that in. Also this part uh, was just one big open area for that vent and I added a white part that goes across there. And there's a little notch right there in the white piece you can see there. I'll fill that in with plot plate later. Also added a, a white bar across the top here. Had to sand down that gray part of the inner frame a bit. And just added that white going across the top. Sanded the thigh part at an angle like so. And I think that's about all I did with the legs. Let's see. Skirt armor I really haven't done all that much to. Uh, I've just sort of started reshaping uh, the top of the front skirts here. I uh, haven't gotten very far along on them. Uh, the side skirts, I just cemented this uh, moving fin thing in place. And I'm just going to go in with some putty later on. You'll probably see that in the next video. Uh, front crotch piece. Uh, the front crotch piece was completely open down here on the bottom. Again, I added some white plot plate there uh, along the bottom. And then added these two little rectangular details here, because those were on the uh, the TV version design. Let's see, moving on to the torso. Here is the torso. It's uh, under construction. I sanded down all these uh, crazy details that were down here and just put a piece of plot plate there so that'll be nice and flat. I'll probably scribe in some panel lines. I'm not going to have the opening chest vents on this guy. I'm just not even going to attempt that because that'd be a huge pain in the butt with the inner frame there. So I'll probably just scribe in uh, the panel where the chest vents are supposed to be. And then I've got some plot plate here and here. Uh, that's cemented in place. That's just to give me some extra thickness when I round that off. Speaking of rounding things off, here is the cockpit hatch. So you can see it's blue on the bottom. I added uh, three pieces of plot plate on the top, on one on each side and then one on the top. And then I uh, sanded that down and rounded everything off. It's got some putty on it right now. But uh, it actually looks quite nice. I'm really liking the way this thing is turning out. I know my camera's not wanting to focus on me sanding because my hands are moving too fast, but oh well. Anyway, I'll just give you a better idea of the uh, focus in on it, the roundness of the cockpit hatch there. So that should look pretty nice, I think, once it gets uh, all cleaned up and finished. Uh, these uh, side parts for the torso, I just you know sand off details, nothing much there. The little machine cannons that go on the shoulders, those were kind of uh, an off-angle looking shape, so I just kind of squared those up and made them more rectangular. That's all I did there. The uh, biceps, all I did was just uh, round off these edges. They were sharp and beveled, so I just sanded those down and rounded them. Let's see, haven't really done anything to the uh, shoulder armor yet. Haven't messed with that too much. The bust rifles, I actually made a mistake at the beginning of the video. I said that these vents right here needed to be uh, removed. They actually don't. I wasn't paying attention to the original line art, so those I'm going to leave. But uh, I am in the process of reshaping 
these yellow bars that go on the top. I'm basically just thickening them up. See how they're almost twice as thick as they originally were? And then uh, once these get all cut and sanded down, they'll be able to just uh, slot in just like they did before I modified them. And the shield and the wings back here I honestly haven't messed with at all. Uh, I did take the thrusters, the little metal thrusters I bought out of the package, so you can see those, and they are. I've got kind of a gunmetal finish on the outside and silver on the inside. Uh, I'm going to be painting them regardless because I honestly can't really stand the look of uh, metal thrusters when they're bright, gleaming, metallic, unpainted, so I'll be painting on those. And that is where I'm at uh, so far, one week into Wing Zero. Like I said, the holiday kind of uh, took me away from the kit. But hopefully next week I'll have uh, quite a bit more done and I'll show you something that looks a little bit closer to completion. So with that, I'll see you guys next time.